today we're down at Homosassa, Florida, fishing the Nature Coast with Captain Billy. Man, it's been a good January. Hasn't been that cold. Fishing from here to Louisiana has all been good. So we're excited to get out there. There's been a little bit of fog here and there. We just got into town. Going to hang out, see what we can catch. All right, so I'm gonna go over what we used. Captain Billy's got, what size leader is that? This is a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. Okay, 40 pound fluorocarbon onto a uh, jig head that, is that eighth ounce? This is a 16th ounce. Okay. This is a 16th ounce Jim's jig chartreuse, um, particularly chartreuse for trout and snooks, one of my favorites. And here we have a five and a half inch DOA glow. That is the staple for this area. The DOA glow is like, the go-to lure for the Homosass at Crystal River area. And then uh, I'll show you how we had it rigged. One of the easiest ways, I actually rigged the flat side um, on the outside of the hook. It gives it just a little bit of a wider hook gap. Oh, this one's actually been used once. But just like that, you can see it actually lets that hook stick out just a little further to where as if it were on the other side. Maybe wanted it a little more weedless, but really gets a good hook set on those trout. Good, good, good. Now, when we were red fishing, we were using dead shrimp. Same jig head size? Same jig head, uh, the lightest one possible. Typically, you're balancing it right off the edges of those rocks. Uh, so you don't want it too heavy or else you're going to be picking up grass or even getting snagged up in the rocks. So. We used uh, dead shrimp, uh, like he said, on the redfish, but you only do that in Homosassa in January, February, in the winter time because the pin fishing here gets ridiculous, and that's when we'll turn to those right there, those pin fish traps. So this is January fishing, Homosassa. It was an awesome day. We caught a lot of fish, and uh, do it again soon. Absolutely. Loving the colder temps. A little bit of a change up. Air jig, shrimp on there, threaded easy. Gives you a good possibility. Redfish, sheephead, even the trout. Jim's jig. Hey, you'll head pull there. Why I want to sit there. So good. I'm going to grab another water if I can get a little more light. That's it. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, try to look pretty good. Good thing I come over here. Yeah, it was good. I thought
Digging, huh? <laughs> yeah, they love that stuff. They just love that stuff. We just dig it back down again. They love when it's at home. lit up on the blue too. It's a beautiful fish. That's a beautiful fish. That's crazy. It'd be great when the 30 inches get caught again. Yep. He's got really good spots. Like that's cool as one side how they laid out like that. Like that how they laid out. That's a pretty fish. Long skinny ones there. It's about the size of the catch yesterday. Yeah, that's a better fish. Skinny. Much better fish. Boy, those fish are so pretty here. They really are so pretty. Yeah. School Fish 101.
Looks like a nice trout. Really blue, man. I know it's pretty. It's lit up. Yeah, twenty three and a half. That should look like a jackass. Twenty three. Catch and release. That's a good one. Well, that's a good shot right there, too. Yeah, these are really healthy fish. Wintertime red fishing. One of the best times of the year to fish, to be honest. I think. Mm. I like this time. Until we get to those really cold months. Yeah, I just hate the cold, that's all my. I'm just in that pothole over there. Down a pothole? Yeah. I found a pothole. We found a pothole. <laughs> Always got a bunch of spots on him. Does he? Look at him. Oh, yeah, he is. He's all leopard reds. Not really. Pretty close. So, what I call you a leopard? Did I ever say that one? I call it one with 86 here. No way. Yeah, they have a tournament too. Oh, that's a pretty fish. That's a pretty fish. Wow. Oh, come on, buddy. He was just about ready to go in.